Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well at home. I just wanted to come on and share another book with you guys that I think you're going to enjoy. Um, this one, I know that we like to read about pirates, so I figure we can read about pirates in pajamas. Um, I think you're probably getting a lot of pajama time being at home right now, so that was appropriate. This was written by Caroline Crow and illustrated by Tom Knight. So we're going to read about these pirates and what sort of mischief they can get up to. <clears throat> Do pirates wear pajamas when it's time to say goodnight? Do they have a skull and crossbones? Are they striped and black and white? No, when pirates choose pajamas, they're not always what you'd think. Some are purple, some are orange, some are yellow, green, or pink. There are knitted ones with pom-poms, ones with spots and frilly sleeves. Some are fluffy all in onesies, and some hang down to the knees. Check out those different pajamas. If you board the leaky parrot just before you go to bed, Captain Redbeard's on the poop deck with a snorkel on his head. There he is, there's Captain Redbeard. Mm, I see something else in his beard. Take a look again. What's he got hanging out of his beard there? He jumps into the bathtub, tossing bubbles everywhere. His crew are making shark fins with the shampoo in their hair. Do you ever do that when you take a bath? Grab your towels, the captain cries, and dry behind your knees. The last one in pajamas smells like stinky, moldy cheese. Ew. Rotten Roger's PJ set looks good enough to eat. Sneaky Pete's have dancing cats. And Hank's has fancy feet. Captain Redbeard's onesie must have shrunk her size of two. He can't close up the buttons and his tummy's poking through. Look at that. Pirates throw pajama parties almost every single night. They parade their jazzy jammies and have a pirate pillow fight. Wallop, whack, white feathers fly and tickle everywhere. Hank laughs so hard his jammies slip. and leave his bottom bare. Oh my goodness. Dressed for bed, they drink their milk and start to close their eyes. And tucked in tight, they drift to sleep. To pirate lullabies. So if you want to be a pirate, you don't need a patch or sword. You just need your best pajamas and a bed to climb aboard. And that, my friends, is the end. I hope you enjoyed this book and maybe you can read it more than once, maybe when you're getting ready for bed. Um, like I said, we're probably spending a little bit more time in our pajamas these days. If you have any cute pajamas that you're wearing, I'd love to see you share them on Dojo with me and I'll share them out with the rest of the group. So have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll see you soon.